Good morning and happy Father's Day, everybody. I'm walking over to the main building to uh, ask Bell Services some questions about assisting in getting our luggage, or Christina and Grant's luggage, over to the cabins today because our car is absolutely full. And we have brunch at 10 at Raglan Road. Um, also realized you haven't even seen Christina and Grant and the kids yet because we just got to like hugging everybody and chit-chatting and next thing you know, everyone was down for the count. But gonna be a good day, no, new check-in day at a very fun resort. Um, and it's gonna be like a relaxing but exciting day. I'm, I'm ready for it. We've got a free brunch battle going in the car for Jamesy boy. We are all checked out of Saratoga Springs, packed in the car um, as best as we could to get over to Disney Springs for our Raglan Road brunch at 10. I just saw Port Orleans. Ooh, I miss Port Orleans so much. I'm gonna open it up. So bad to the point where like, if whenever they announce opening up, I do want to like, a Book a trip on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Peter holding him our stuff. What have you come to terms with this morning? Where we're gonna park? Oh, we're gonna park in the world's worst garage at Disney Springs. Lime. Lime garage because it's more central to the whole Disney Springs as a whole, and it's like right next to Raglan Road. Right. We're running a little bit short on time, so just gotta. And short on visibility while driving. <laughs> Today, the boys match. Yeah. Ooh. Yes. So I got the four provinces. I have to pull up the menu and list them off. Um, but four different provinces of Ireland, different beers and a very fresh, one of the best cups of coffee I've ever had. It almost is better than I think the Cat Cora press pot, press pot that I got like a decade Ten ago. Ten years ago. And that, was, that has been long standing my favorite coffee at a restaurant. James is, we're, we're trying out the high chair. And Sarah got a Arnold Palmer. We have some bread. It comes with a Guinness Glaze. Ready for some bread, Jamesy boy? So here is the box D. It's, wait, what was it? Was it a fancy word for it or not? They call it pull the box D. It's an Irish style crispy box D potato cake, pulled ham hock, and caramelized red onions with the Dubliner cheese sauce. Yeah. Phil Rosenthal would be proud. I have a full Irish. Look at that tomato. I can't wait. And Sarah so got the eggs Benedict. Yum. And I moved on from my drinks to a. a a black and tan that's yet to arrive, and we have a whole other order of bread for just for James. He loves it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Is that too much? So yummy. We got some bread to go because he loved it. Oh no. So I think, like I was saying, that officially concludes like the the Sarah Peter family portion of this vacation here. Yeah. And now begins like the whole like, we're with Christina Grant and the kids, later Jenna and Bill are gonna show up. Yeah, whole we have fam. Eve later. So this was a nice little like finale yeah. of our little. And I've waited like my whole life to celebrate Father's Day in yeah. Raglan Road. And you guys know how much I love a good Raglan Road. Yeah, well, it's, it's super special. I would come here with my family for Father's Day and be here with my dad. So it's so nice that Peter could be here with, well, that James could be here with his dad. Yeah, I keep saying, like, he's the reason for the season. <laughs> Look who's in the vlog for the first time. Happy Father's Day, Grant. Thanks, I had a sweat mustache. We always do, it's Florida. We're getting, uh, we took the kids because of the reason for the season. Uh, We're getting frozen uh, beers uh, and beer boba beer. slushes for the kids. What does a frozen beer entail? Beer with frozen beer. Nice. Perfect. Somebody just need Sarah's. Thank then. you. Thank you. Grant, cheers. <laughs> he just ripped the paper I straw. straw. <laughs> I got sir a mango boba lemonade. How's the frozen beer? Good. What's the frozen stuff? Frozen. I like it. <laughs> and these kids are basking in hot Disney Springs boba. 
Of course, it's not going to Disney Springs without going to the soccer store because Grant's here. <laughs> Look who we found! Screw! Crazy change of plans. I have James. The cabin's ready. Christina and Sarah and the kids went back to Saratoga to swim while Grant and I were getting some tickets situated and Earl's sandwich. But then Jenna and Bill showed up and the cabin's ready, so we have to go to Eve. And James just woke up. So, chaotic a little bit. I have to drive to Saratoga to get Sarah so we can go to Eve. Whew! You want to come and swim? I do. In a little bit, I'll be able to swim. Are you enjoying yourself? We're at the quiet pool before we go to our cabin. It's ready though. Did you know our cabin is ready? In the forest. Oh, nice move. It's called nice. Fort Wilderness, right? Yes. Because Grant came up to me when he was going to send the baggage. He's like, um, Wilderness Lodge? <laughs> <laughs> They're not ordinary. quite. They're, na they're next door neighbors. This has now become the case of the lost Grant. I left him at Earl's sandwich. He was supposed to get the Earl for him and Christina and the kids and meet them at the pool at Saratoga. But the thing is, there's multiple pools at Saratoga. And his phone died. And he was not aware when I left him that they were at one of the quiet pools at Saratoga, not the main pool that he thinks they're at. So now Sarah's with Christina trying to figure out if they're just gonna go to the main pool because Grant's phone is dead and he's lost. But we need to leave because it's 2.10 and we're supposed to pick up Eve by three. So we're in a little bit of a, like, precipice of a very chaotic moment in the day. But after the dust settles here, we'll be at the cabin, our cabin's ready. We'll have our golf cart, we'll have our puppy. Everything will be squared away and then we can figure out what we're doing the rest of the evening. Jenna and Bill are also at Disney Springs. They got there like 30 minutes ago. So, kind of chaos everywhere. But, what's a family trip without a little bit of chaos, you know? We've made it to the Fort Wilderness Campgrounds and Resort. And we have our puppy. Um, we have to check in, unload the car, get the cabin, get Eve's legal paperwork set. But, it's gonna be great! Welcome to Fort Wilderness. We're here! The TV's on. The lights are all off, but the TV is on. Evie, it's your first Disney World stay. It is her first Disney World stay. Oh, hello. Wow. wow. <laughs> Evie girl's in her first Disney stay. Evie girl's in her first Disney stay. So first of all, before we get too carried away, Brian and Katie were super sweet and they got these like custom Father's Day cookies made for me. Evie, are you excited to be with us? <laughs> Jamesy boy, this is your first cabin stay. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. See, look at There's a beautiful painting. We didn't get our golf cart yet, but we wanted to get the car unloaded and everything. We also got this like fancy bag. Yeah, let's unload it and see what Evie got. All right, so here's a cute bag. There's nothing on it, but it came with this bowl and this bag. That's great because we actually need to put that. This like will roll out and we can put her bowl and everything on there. A map of all the dog relief areas and a special room occupied to let um, like housekeeping everybody know that we have a dog in here. Yes, we won't come in here unless we're here. Great. And look at this. We haven't stayed in a refurb, have we? Wow, Sarah, look at this fancy stove top. Wow. Wow. And a never before used cutting, cutting board. board. An actual size fridge. We've been lacking that at our studio. Uh huh. Oh. Oh, did you know that Bob Iger stayed in this unit himself? Sorry. Sniffing your, <laughs> sniffing your baby butt. Bambi. This is not our room, but I'll show it off before the kiddos arrive. We got bunk beds and a big ol' or a double with some resort TV, a little nook, nooks and crannies, nooks and crannies. Wow. Hey, so if you like this channel, come back tomorrow. I don't know who's trusting me. The world Ready with Grant in a golf cart. I don't even know where we're going. I do. Just I hit. know that I just go that way. Yeah. Just go straight that way. <sighs> so you might be wondering, why didn't I go swimming? And that is because I have to make sense of all of this and all of this. And 
have to make I have to make sense of this. Even it's okay. It's okay. She's got separation anxiety. So we are at the Meadow swimming pool. These two got resort mugs. I don't know what we were thinking, not getting them for ourselves. And there's Pop right here. <laughs> we are back on the golf cart because that pool was packed. How'd you feel about it? <laughs> A little bit too many people in one spot. <laughs> what did you say about I said I haven't seen as many people in a pool since the sandlot. Yeah. So we're gonna go to the quiet pool. How do you, how do you feel about this, Jamesy? Here for the ride. Oh. Okay, this is better. Still plenty of people, but more our style. Okay, I've started to make a big dent. But look at who's finally gotten comfy. Oh my gosh, I have to send a picture to Sarah. She's gonna be so happy. Oh, you're so cute. Look at you go. Peekaboo. Oh gosh. Show me your skills. Hey. <laughs> Show me your coolest trick. Nice. Oh boy, look at this sweet ride. That's right. Hi. Jenna's here now. Bill's hanging out with the kids. He's Jenna being and a I, monster. Jenna and I are coming to pick up the food because Christina and Grant just like had no patience and they just had to get their pizza. But we're gonna get a barbecue, we're gonna ride this golf cart back, and hopefully not get into too much trouble, but when it's just Jenna and me, this is the worst combo out of the entire family to let loose, is these trouble. two. So I just got back from getting our food, I'm about to show you it, but look at this Mickey and the acorns that they set up. Or was it naturally created like this? Disney magic. Also, Eve has a new uh, retractable leash, so that's exciting. Here's the food. I'm gonna ask if you wanna eat it outside or inside, but Sarah got the two fried chicken with mashed potatoes and cornbread. I got a pulled pork on a Kaiser with mac and cheese. Very good, very Fort Wilderness. This doesn't happen often anymore. There's a puppy in Disney World. There's a sleeping baby in Disney World. Mm -hmm. Everyone else is asleep. It's 9.47, everyone left or went to bed Where? like and that hasn't happened, I think, in years, even for us living here. It was yeah. too hard with our schedules and, like, my work. Yes, it's, like, early, so we're probably going to go to bed, too. I doubt it, but... I'm going to have to send some work emails because I'm off tomorrow. But we're, like, about to just, like, settle down. Yeah. I, like, I've been clean, tidying up. Stuff. I'm going to organize all this. This is garbage. i got to do the dishes, clean the bottles. All that fun stuff. Thank you for a wonderful Father's Day. You're welcome. It didn't take very long. I was kind of tidying up, doing the dishes, and everybody's falling asleep. So I want to thank everybody, all of you, who have sent wonderful, loving Father's Day messages. It was a pretty awesome day. Um, you know, I celebrated last Father's Day because of Sweet Pea, even though Sweet Pea's not physically here with me, Sweet Pea is always with me. So um, there were a lot of people who gave a happy first Father's Day and stuff like that, and in a way it was, but in a way it wasn't, because I had Sweet Pea with me last year, and... James and Sarah's belly last year, but it was very special to hold James all day long and celebrate today with him, so I'm going to sign off because I'm going to get chargers ready to go. Sarah's asleep, so I think I might actually take a crack at editing the vlog tonight, at least to get it started, because we have an early day, so if it's not done tonight, it's not getting up until late, late tomorrow night, so it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>